Asante. Basi wananchi watukufu tusimame sote. Tusimame kwa pamoja tumkaribishe Daktari William Samoi Ruto Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Wapi makofi na vigelegele? Makofi watu wa Marsabit. Makofi na vigelegele zaidi. Tunakuomba Mheshimiwa Rais uanze kwa kuzindua. Karibu Mheshimiwa Rais uanze kwa kuzindua. Marsabit County Climate Change Action Plan 2023 to 2027. Marsabit tunafurai rais. Wapi makofi ya juu na vigelegele? Asante, asante. Rais anakuenda kuzindua sasa Marsabit County Climate Action Plan 2023-2027. Atakata utepe na kisha tutashangilia ikiwa ni parade ya climate change chairpersons ishirini kutoka wadi zote Amekata tumshangilie kwa makofi rais. Hiyo ni ishara kwamba kaunti ya Marsabit inashughulika na maswala ya kimazingira ipasavyo. Tutasalia kusimama hivyo hivyo hadi rais afike kwake ndio tuombe tufungue rasmi. Basi tusimame hivyo hivyo, tufungue kwa maombi. Nekajia kwa ndeye hii. 
Toma. Orani. Toma. Loveyo. Lovondo. Le Yangalani. William. Urto. Ngarak. Agut. Ubonge. Kanzolai. Ngarak. Agut. Ani ajokon. Yama munga ije. Nipeyo. Lovondo. Analubio. Ni ajokon. Peyei. Alhamdulillah. Al-Mulkulillah. Al-Shukrulillah. Al-Azamatulillah. Al-Qudratulillah. اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مباركا اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مباركا وفرحا وسرورا يا رب العالمين وتفرقنا من بعد تفرق معصوما يا رب العالمين اللهم اصلح ولاة امرنا واهديهم سبل السلام اللهم اجمع كلمتهم على الحق يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu. Amina. Mungu baba tunakurudishia shukrani kwa hii siku ambapo tunaendelea kusherekea tamaduni zetu za Rikturukana Cultural Festival. Tunakushukuru kwa rais wetu mpendo wa Ruto na serikali yake yote. Tunakushukuru pia kwa viongozi wote wa national, wa county, security, hata sisi religious leaders na kila mmoja wetu ili hii tamasha yetu ya hapa iweze kuongeza uzuri katika watoto wetu masomo yao iweze kuongeza uzuri wako katika familia zetu na pia uweze kubariki jamii yetu tukikuabudu tukikutukuza e Mungu Baba tuwe kizazi ambacho kina baraka kizazi ambacho e Mungu Baba kinakuheshimu na ili tuwe na amani masabet na hii inchi yetu bariki kila mmoja wetu tunaomba haya yote kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu amina maria konsolata maria nyota ya bahari utuombe tuketi tafadhali basi mheshimiwa rais itifaki zote zikiwa zime zingatiwa na kualika sasa katika muda mfupi wa burudani ikiwa ni siku ya marsabit lake to kana kachero festival na kutukunjulia jamvi mheshimiwa rais ni wasanii mashuhuri sana kwa jina Loyangalandi Stars ambao watatuletea catwalk ya kipekee ya hapa Marsabit. Karibuni Loyangalandi Stars.
Ricky Ford oh, Ya Allah Ya Allah Ya Allah 1 2 my check 1 2 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 What's up 1 2 my check 1 2 Just landed. Alafu, Alafu, Loyangalani, Yoya, Marsabit. That is what an elder from the Boranda community would say if he was welcoming you to this 13th edition of the Marsabit Lake Turkana Cultural Festival. An important day this is, the third day of the festivities that brings together communities living in Marsabit co County. And what makes today especially special is the fact that uh, His Excellency President William Bruto, who has just landed and uh, made rounds, is actually in this facility today because uh, he not only is the president of the Republic of Kenya, but he is the embodiment of what is trying to be achieved here. Uniform, I mean, an, an element of people coming together as one because he is the symbol of national unity. Dr. William Samoe Ruto, the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, uh, is joining these 14 communities that are this time celebrating diversity for uh, not only uh, a coexistence but a peaceful coexistence uh, for that matter and as you can see a beautiful display of culture and it is not just music it is not just songs it is not just dance but it is the way they live the houses they live in the food they eat basically everything that makes these people who they are traditions that have been passed on from one generation to the other from one person to another Another generation after generation and they live on today every bead is a story every song is a story every color in every attire is a story of a people that are resilient in this county that is the most expansive county the neighbors are, and, and the celebrations are neighbors happening at a neighborhood where the largest desert lake is found and so this is what we have do not do not turn away do not leave this station stay keep it citizen tv as to continue to give you a test just a test of what this is like but it's not just a test because it brings about everything that these cultures represent and now we continue with the festivities <laughs> sasa jukwani ni wanagabra wakifuata na wasamburu vile vile borana na burji na kisha mwishowe mheshimiwa rais vikundi vyote vitakuja pamoja ili upate fursa nzuri ya kuchangamana nao karibuni
Waimbaji wa Gabra. Kelendore helaimo. Oh barendore. Ayo mala. Kaka yo helaimo. Ore ababa yo. Ayo mala. Wanaingia sasa ni wanaborana Karibuni sana wanaborana Na tuimbe kwa furaha tupige makofi kama wao Makofi makofi
Tunawakaribisha sasa nao Burji wachukue nafasi jukwani tunapomalizia malizia Asante sana bwana Borana vikundi ambavyo vinajumuisha jamii 14 mheshimiwa rais kuna wakonso kuna waburji gare borana waata dasanach wayu muungano sakuye somali bila kusahau sidan elmolo samburu gabra vile vile rendile na tukana mheshimiwa rais wanakuja wote kwa pamoja na kuimba wimbo mmoja mfupi ili tuitimbishe hafla hiyo ya vikundi vya kitamaduni kwa haraka sana tuingie jukwani ili tupate kiboi Ah, 
Asante ni tuneza ondoka Asante na pongezi sana mwishimu wa rais Kwa densi ya kimataifa Ambayo umepiga hapa Basi tuondoke Tuondoke jukuani haraka haraka tafadhali Asante Basi Mwishimu wa Rais Kabla tuweze kumalizia kabisa Na kumualika PS Aweze kuzungumza County ya Marsabit Imeanza shuguli ya siku kumina sita Za vita Didi ya dhulu maza kijinsia Na wanapita mbele yako sasa Ni wafajekazi Wa idara ya county ya Marsabit Ya utamaduni Wakiwa wameshikilia bango Lililoandikwa 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. Hawa wote ni wa Marsabit County. Tuwapigie makofi. Ishara kwamba wamekataa dhuluma za kijinsia kama ulivyo mwongozo wako mwishimu wa rais. Basi tupite mbele. Wanaongozo na CEC wao pamoja na CEO wa hapa Marsabit. Tuarakisha basi tunapopita mbele ya rais. Kwa mara nyingine tena makofi wananchi wa Marsabit. Kumbuka ni kuanzia tarehe 25 November ambayo ni siku ya leo hadi tarehe 10 Disemba mwaka huu. Hakuna tena e, vita vya kijinsia ukipenda dhuluma za kijinsia hapa Marsabit na ni kazi nzuri sana. Asanteni sana kwa mwongozo huo. Asanteni. Basi mwishimu wa rais, ni kubalie ni mwalike sasa katibu mkuu katika idara ya kitaifa ya utamaduni bi umi bashir ili yaweze kuendelea na ratiba kutoka hapo. Marsa biti oya! Marsa biti oya! Nagene padada! Asalamu alaikum! I come, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, the Governor of the County of Marsabit, Mohammed Mahmoud Ali, his Deputy Governor, Women Representative, Naomi Wako, who is also the Deputy Chief Whip, and uh, all members of parliament present, MCAs, CECs, the county commissioner, all protocols observed. Your Excellency, I'd like to make it very short. Mine is to acknowledge the fact that culture is booming and doing so well in the county of Marsabit. Given that they have 14 communities, this is amazing. I want us to clap for Marsabit County. Another thing is that the coexistence, the peaceful uh, livelihoods that our people here are actualizing is commendable, and we are proud of that. The second thing I would like to talk about is the Ushanga Initiative which we have 
here in Marsabit County. It is among the 10 counties that are practicing Ushanga, and we acknowledge this as a government. We have 21 cooperatives here in Marsabit County. We intend to increase the number of those 21 cooperatives. There are 100 women in each of those cooperatives, and our agenda in conjunction with the county government and the women rep is to increase that number, to increase our capacity building. That is what we do currently. We capacity build our women here, and we will continue to do that. The third thing is, is the Minorities Day on the 18th of December that is going to happen in our um, country. It's an international day and a day recognized by the United Nations. It is going to happen in Bomas of Kenya and I would like to invite the Loyangalani stars, Your Excellency, through your permission to come and perform for us on that day, on the day of the minorities at the Bomas of Kenya. The fourth thing and the final thing, Your Excellency, is to acknowledge the fact that Marsabit has very many internationally recognized UNESCO World Heritage Sites and the fact that Kenya has got a seat at the UNESCO World Heritage Committee and this is thanks to you, your efforts. Kenya got 119 votes. Remember, remember, Kenya has never been uh, having a seat at that table, so we're very proud. And Kobe Fora is in Marsabit County, so I acknowledge that, and I'm very proud of Marsabit County. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I now welcome the area MP. Karibu sana. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mwishimua William Ruto, uh, the Governor for Marsabit, Governor for Mungoma, uh, fellow members of Parliament, the Executive who are here, the County Assembly, uh, National Government, Nawanaincho uh, Yangalani Amjambo, Ayasasa Nitafupisha, Kwasabu Yamasa, Na Your Excellency, Ngependa ku tambua MCS yoto ambaye wako hapa, tafadhali usimame. Ukiwa na, tukiwa na weshimua yetu wa wili kutoka area hii, mweshimua ya mojo na mweshimua Daniela. Na weshimua ya entire Marsabit County wako hapa, asanteni sana. Na pia nitamuachia badaya mwenzangu governor, uh, deputy governor introduce wao. La mimi ngependa sasa hivi kuchukua na fasi hii, kukaribisha mweshimua wa North Hall. Mwishimua wario, akuja kusalimia nyinyi. Asante ni sana. Mwishimua karibu. Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, Governor of Marsabit, Governor of Bungoma, Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I'm Jambo. Bwana Sifiwe. Assalamu alaikum. Your Excellency, Mimi Nitaka Kushukuru, Kwa Kuchukua Nafasi hi. Kuja sehemu za Marsabit kuwa na sisi siku ya leo. Jambo la pili vile mnavyojua county ya Marsabit inajulikana na uhasama wa kijamii. Lakini sasa tangu uchaguzi uliopita tumehakikisha kwamba amani imepatikana. Na hiyo ni juhudi ya viongozi wale ambao wako hapa na wananchi wa Marsabit County. So kwa hivyo Rais wetu vile mnavyojua haswa sehemu za North Hall. Jamii ya Dasnach na Gabra wamezozana zaidi ya miaka miambili. na tumekosa watu zaidi ya milioni tano. Tangu uchaguzi uliopita amani imepatikana na tutahakisha kwamba amani ya kati ya Gabra 
na kati ya Dasnach itaendelea na tuhakikisha kwamba ita tutahakikisha kwamba itaendelea na jim, jamii itaendelea ku, e, ku, kutumia e, malisho na maji pamoja so kwa hivyo maombi yangu mheshimiwa rais umekuwa sehemu za nothor mara mingi umekuwa sehemu za dasa na mara mingi kwa vile tumeleta amani katika sehemu hizo tukishirikiana na governor wetu na tukishirikiana na viongozi ambao wako hapa tunataka peace dividend project katika sehemu hiyo mheshimiwa rais hiyo itatimiza kwamba tutahakisha kwamba amani itadumu katika sehemu hiyo jambo la pili mheshimiwa rais kuna barabara kutoka Shegel paka Maikona hiyo barabara ni ya national government ya kuwekwa lami imesimama tafadhali tunakuomba hiyo barabara pende rasilimali iendele mpaka mwisho ili tuweze kufungua sehemu za Chalbi Desert na kubifura kwa mambo ya utalii. Asante sana, mengi tumwongea, asanteni sana. Pia ningependa kutambua waheshimiwa uh, wawili, mmoja mheshimiwa Alkalau, mheshimiwa David Kiaparo. Mheshimiwa, asante sana mheshimiwa wenzangu na mheshimiwa Abdi from Ijara. Mheshimiwa. Okay, asanteni sana. Sasa nachukua nafasi hii kukaribisha mheshimiwa Women Rebeto wa Marsabit County, mheshimiwa Naomi, tafadhali mpigieni makofi. Santeni sana. Your Excellency our President, our Governor, Deputy Governor, His Excellency Governor Lusaka, mwenye tulikuwa Senate pamoja. PSS wetu ambao wako hapa and all protocols observed. Your Excellency, number one, nataka kushukuru Mungu ya kwamba leo tunakuita Rais Mtukufu. Na vile unavyoona watu wetu wa Marsabit hapa walikupenda na waka participate wakakuchagua. Kwa hivyo na nataka kuwapongeza na kuwashukuru kwa kutuchagulia serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza. Your Excellency during the other the last campaigns tulikuwa tunaambia watu wengine ati hawa ni deep state na tulikuwa tuna make jokes na hawa little did i know that very soon hata mimi nitaitwa deep state na kwa hivyo mimi mwenyewe ninaitwa deep state kwa sababu ya serikali yetu Your Excellency ni siku ya furaha sana tuko na furaha na vile unavyoona culture mbalimbali mbali iko hapa na saa zingine watu wanasema what good can come from northern Kenya your Excellency, today you have seen the best of Marsabit. Nani nataka tu kukuambia Your Excellency, kama watu moja tumeongea na tumezungumza, mambo ya dams umetupromise. Mambo ya kutengeneza hapa, mambo ya lake na kupromote umetuambia utatufanyia. Barabara na kupromote area kwa mambo ya tourism utatufanyia. Your Excellency, kwetu tunasema mwenye anajua mambo unamuonyesha tu direction kidogo naye anajua barabara atafanya ka, kila kitu. Tunajua kwamba wewe sio president wa kuambiwa vitu lakini ni president ambao anajua watu wake kwa majina na anajua shida zao. Kwa hivyo sisi kama watu wa Marsabit tunajua kwamba tuko in safe hands. Your Excellency, nataka tu kumaliza na hii mambo ya insecurity. Ninajua kwamba serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza imeshikilia kabisa. Lakini kuna watu ambao wanasumbua watu wakiiba ngombe, wakiiba maduka ya watu na kuomba mambo ya NPR. Tafadhali sana Your Excellency. Najua ni kitu ambao unaangalia ili tuweze kulinda maisha ya watu wetu tuangalie. Tena nikimalizia Your Excellency unajua kwamba kabla ya imvua jilali ilikuwa imemaliza wanyama wetu, saa hii mvua ndio hiyo watu wamekuwa maskini sana. Your Excellency we ni baba wetu na tunakuomba utushikilie mkono watu wetu at least wapate wanyama wawili watatu ili waweze kuendelesha maisha yao. Na tena kuna wale ambao hawana hata kitu ya kukula saa hizi, Your Excellency tunakuomba ili hata through our peers wa asal, hii mambo ya chakula iweze kutufikia, watu waweze kukua na vitamins nzuri na waweze kudance vile wamedance 
na wapeleke watoto wao shule. Ya Excellency tunakushukuru kwa kila kitu. Nikimaliza tuko na watu wengi ambao umetuappointia. Tuko na mema PSS, tuko na watu ambao wako kwa board wengi sana na tuko na hata CEOs wengi. Na ninajua ya kwamba ya Excellency many of our people are still in your plans. Asante sana na tunakuombea mimi ni kukupatia assurance, assurance ya kwamba watu wa Marsabit watakuwa nyuma yako, watakuwa na wewe kutoka leo na hata kutoka zamani na hata tukiendelea mbele. Mungu akubariki, Mungu abariki kaunti yetu. Asanteni sana. Asante mheshimiwa. Rais Your Excellency nitakupisha yangu kwa sababu ya masaa. Ya kwanza kwanza tunapenda kukushukuru umetutembelea kwa area hii ya Loyangalani Your Excellency. And this is your home. You've been there many times. Your Excellency kitu yangu ya kwanza ni security. Leo tulipokuwa mkutano na leaders uliuliza mheshimiwa watoto wanaenda shule ama waende shule. Nikakwambia Your Excellency ya kwamba kitu ya kwanza shida yangu ya kwanza nilikuwa naye ni area inaitwa Moite Your Excellency. Hakuna watoto wako wanasoma. Ukatuwekea askari pale Your Excellency. Sai Moite the first student in Lysamis constituency is leading from Moite Primary School. Your Excellency. Hiyo ndio matunda, hiyo ndio matunda ya elimu Your Excellency. Na wewe wakati hiyo 209 wakati tulikuwa bunge pamoja you are MP like me I was you was in that debate. Wakati tulikuwa tunasema watu wa Moite wanaumia you contributed and you helped me mpaka tukaweka askari pale Your Excellency. Your Excellency shida nyingine ilikuwa ni Arapal ukatuwekea askari watoto wanasoma. Ukatuwekea kambinye, watoto wanasoma. Your Excellency, mali yetu, mali naituwa Dakaie, mali naituwa Larachi katikati hapa. Your Excellency, utuwekea askari, ndi watoto yetu wasome, wapaform kama wengine, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, ngini ambaye ningependa kustatiza. Kwa sababu yetu, hata maji ni secondary tunapenda, lakini insecurity metumbua. Your Excellency, we're only asking for a small thing. KPR, Your Excellency, and I'll finish it quickly. Your Excellency, KPR, mali... Mali kienda kilomita miyamoja, hakuna, ke, hakuna askari wanaweza kupika pale bila barabara. Your Excellency, we're only asking for KPR ikue hapa, ikue kwa, kwa hii community ya loyangalani, community ya mwete, community ya logo logo, community ya everywhere ambaye tuko, ndiyo tuweza wa saidena na askari. We've been asking this for many, and some insecurity mezidi kwa sababu KPR wameondolewa kwetu. Ni kweli wanainji? So, Your Excellency, toa amri kwa sababu yako ikitoka, imetoka. Hakuna gurudi nyuma. Tu, sema tu, me order and pay any security kwa like some constituency, excellency, in the entire Marsabi County, I don't be selfish, to say dike kwa hiyo, your excellency. Kwa hiyo tunawamba, ndi yao watoto wape, wapate kusoma. Your excellency pia, ile ma, 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 governor likuuliza mambo ya gazeted units. 2017 units were gazeted. District, sub, uh, locations, kama location yetu wa mwite. Na kwa kulia, hapa area yote mpaka, mpaka kudas, bada sija toka. Excellency, tafadhali kusaidia kwa hiyo. Excellency, ya mwisho, wewe ndiyo ambassador yetu number one. Na mina ambianga watu, you know, very little knowledge, very dangerous. Your Excellency anaenda kutafutia msaada all over this world. And people are busy criticizing him for traveling too much. Who else would you want to do that work for us? Muna taka nana fanyie Kenya hiyo kazi bila president. Muna kaa Nairobi, muna kaa hapa yoto, muna sema ati ya, anasafiri sana. Anasafiri sana kutafuta msaada. Kwanza, nimesikia kina mamba pale ushanga kwa mbe, Your Excellency, tafutia si market ya shanga. And he said he's going to do it. So, wanainchi wachenu complain mambo ya kusema na safiri, yes, who else would you want to help us apart from him? And that's at least my opinion. And I'm sure ni opinion wa tuwengi sana. Your Excellency, nikumalizia, tuko na strategic plan yetu, lakini before ni seven strategic plan, uko na marafiki yako wengi ambayo lukusaidia kwa campaign, Your Excellency. Mwishimua tuko hapa na rafiki yako sana na ito la barakwe, ambayo li kupanya campaign sana kwa hii area. Tuko na mwishimua argura, mwishimua tuko na timado, mwishimua tuko na a, a host of guys who campaign for you. Utusahu, wajemi naona ma PS wengi hapa, na miu siyo ni PS moja hapa. The only senior person we have as in this community ni mwishimua Russo au KCB. Excellency, tuangalie, tafadhali sana. Tunakuomba hayo. So, ya mwisho, your Excellency, sasa ningependa kukualika. Excellency, uh, mimi nina launch, tuna launch strategic plan ya like some constituency. Excellency, tuwone tumesoma sana ta sisi ya 2023 to 2027. Msaada yetu inatoka kwa serikali yako, inatoka kwa NGOs kama Pasida pale na wengine. Tunataka kuonyesha mwaka tano plan yetu ni nini kusongesha hii. Constituency mbele kushauriana na, na bottom up, Kenya kwanza, uh, 
programs ambayo umezindua hiyo excellence. So excellence tafadhali na kuomba sana na utu, utu launchie hiyo plan yetu na naomba wale wakina mama na wazee walichaguliwa kuje pamoja na excellence to launch. Ujeni Haya basi wanapoinua vitabu juu tuwashangilie kwa makofi angalie kule vile miele ya moto inavyotokea ishara kwamba uzinduzi huo wa NGCDF strategic plan 2023 2027 umefanywa na mheshimiwa rais asante sana mheshimiwa mbunge asante sana mheshimiwa rais ps umi Your Excellency, I, there's a slight oversight where I was to introduce my colleague PSs and I forgot that, my apologies. Please, PSs who accompanied me to this cultural festival, please see Mameni. There are, four, there are three PSs who came with me. Njoni Mbele. There's a PS uh, Ismail of Youth. There's a PS Liban of Petroleum. And there's PS Son of the Soil from Marsabit County, PS Harsama for Asal. Sawa, sawa. Uma ona, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. I'd hereby like to um, welcome the Deputy Governor to make his speech. Thank you. Rais wa Jamuri ya Kenya, Daktari William Ruto, Mstaiki Governor Marsabit, Mstaiki Governor Bungoma, uh, uh, itifaki yote ikizingatiwa yangu ni kutambua tu your excellency wafanyikazi wa county ya Marsabit uh, nikianza na speaker wa county ya uh, assembly ya Marsabit mheshimiwa Edin uh, CCs wale wako hapa wote tafadhali msimame muweze ku wave CEOs wale wako hapa tafadhali msimame mseme wave uh, advisors, wafanyikazi wote, directors, wale wako hapa, wote wasimame. Uh, yangu itakuwa ni hayo tu. Uh, on behalf of the planning committee ya Marsabit Loyangalani Cultural Festival, Your Excellency na kukaribisha Marsabit, jisikie nyumbani. Uh, Marsabit is the cradle of mankind. Tunashukuru mungu, Your Excellency the President, umerudi nyumbani. Uh, kwa sasa nitachukua nafasi hii kukaribisha mstaiki governor his excellency governor Muhammad Mohamed Ali tusimame tupige makofi wa wale wananchi wengine karibu your excellency <coughs> thank you very much uh, dg your excellency the president of the republic of kenya mheshimiwa daktari william samoe ruto na gavana rafiki yetu bana Kenneth your excellency Kenneth Lusaka na viongozi wote ambao wamefika siku ya leo wananchi tukufu wa Marsabit hamjambo hamjambo tena mnafurahi mumeona rais mumemkaribisha wapi makofi yake basi yeah, very good. Rais ni vile wamekaa tangu asubuhi lakini bado wako na furaha. Wamefurahi sana kuwa na wewe. Na tunakukaribisha ujisikie huko nyumbani. Hapa ni kwako. Umekuja hapa mara kadhaa. Wewe ni rafiki wa Marsabit. Eh, tunasema 
Shukrani kubwa sana. Umetuheshimu. Na tunajua huko na kazi mingi. Maneno hii disaster ya Elino na maneno mengine. Lakini ukasema kwa vile umeahidi watu wa Marsabit ukasema lazima ufike hapa siku ya leo. Tunasema shukrani kubwa sana na Mungu akupatie maisha marefu ndio uendelee kuongoza taifa letu. Wapi makofi ya rais tena? Bas rais tuko na viongozi wengi ambao wamekuja hapa siku ya leo na kwa ajili ya wakati hawangeweza kupata nafasi. Lakini naomba ni watambue tu e, tuko na msichana wetu dada wetu Kabale Tache CEO wa Land Commission tafadhali simama daktari wako Dulacha coordinator from Ministry of Health Galm Jaldesa from Lab Fund Dr Abdullahi uh, Ali chairman Kemri Fatuma kutoka IGAD director vile vile uh, wako gufu kutoka IGAD Abdul Bahari Ali Ali Wario Mheshimiwa Moku eh Mheshimiwa Dado ambaye ni CAS CEO wetu wa KCB kijana wa hapa kwetu ndugu yetu Ruso na tuko na wajumbe wawili ambao wametutembelea tafadhali msimame wetu wananchi karibuni mjisikie mko nyumbani asanteni sana na mtani oh mheshimiwa tatu ganya mjumbe wa zamani wa Nodor makatibu wetu tayari wametambuliwa na rais hawa makatibu ambao umewapa uh, sisi ni watu ambao wanataka ka, wanajua kazi yao wanafanya kazi na sisi kwa karibu ambao wanatuheshimu na vile vile tunawaheshimu tunashukuru wewe sana kwa kuvatia hawa hawa watu nafasi na tutaendelea kushirikiana na hawa rais kwa sababu muda ndio hiyo imeyoyoma niko na machache lakini kabla niseme moja mbili nitamwalika ndugu yangu rafiki yangu gavana Kenneth Lusaka akuje kusalimia wananchi wa Marsabit na vile mnajua wakati alikuwa speaker ya senate alikuwa chief guest hapa 2019 siku ambao tuliweza kufungua cultural festival yetu wapi makofi ya gavana Lusaka karibu ndugu basi asante sana rafiki yangu gavana wetu Mheshimiwa Rais nikizingatia itifaki zote kwa sababu ya muda mimi nataka kwanza kuleta salamu za watu wa Bungoma na Western nimekuja hapa vile umeambiwa 2019 nilikuwa hapa na ile nafurahia ni ile amani mmeweka na nashukuru gavana huyu kwa sababu Marsabit imekuwa namba moja katika Kenya kwa mambo ya cultural diversity na nimeona hapa kweli nimetembea kuangalia kule dance naona kuna watu ya kutoka huko Western kwa hivyo nataka tulete wengine wakuja wakaya huku muwakaribishe la muhimu muendeleze mambo ya culture muendeleze mambo ya kukuwa pamoja na pia tushirikiane na mheshimiwa rais wetu kuona kwamba ana deliver manifesto na zile vitu ambayo alituahidi kwa hayo machache Mungu awabariki tutarudi tena kuongea na nyinyi asanteni sana Thank you very much Your Excellency Governor Lusaka Your Excellency, with your permission, I will uh, ask the county first lady to wave to the crowd. Saungone like a moja, Mama Alamitu, asimame a wave to the, His Excellency the President. Bas, thank you very much. Basi, kwa ajili ya wakati, muda mnaona imeyoyoma na lazima tumkubali Rais kurudi na wakati. Atutaki atembe na giza. Nitasema kwa ufupi. Rais wewe unafahamu sehemu hii. Watu wa Marsabit wamekubali kutupa ile mila ya zamani ambayo ilikuwa inaturudisha nyuma. Maneno ya vita, maneno ya kupigana, maneno ya kuibana. Wamesema ha, sasa hatutaki tena, lazima tuwe pamoja, tuwe kitu kimoja na tukae kwa amani, tushirikiane ndio tupate maendeleo katika kaunti yetu. Hii e, sherehe ya leo ni dibitisho ya hayo. Na vile Gavana Lusaka amesema wiki iliyopita na mimi namshukuru na samahani nimesahau ku recognize Daktari Makori
kutoka NIC NCIC uh, commissioner tafadhali simama rais akuone rais huyu daktari rafiki ya Marsabet ametembea na sisi wakati tulipata shida uh, wakati tulikuwa tunapigana last week walitupatia award for being number one in the nation the way our governor Lusaka say wapi makofi ya county yetu ya Marsabit na tutaendelea kulinda hiyo amani tukishirikiana na viongozi wetu wa national government eh, security committee wa county wako hapa eh, regional security committee wote wako hapa tunashirikiana kwa pamoja tukilinda amani ya county yetu kwa ufupi tu rais ile tunaomba sisi kama county tumejaliwa na Mwenyezi Mungu tuko na upepo ambayo ni ile upepo ya hali ya juu katika uh, Afrika nzima na katika Kenya, taifa letu tunapeana kule Nairobi kule Suswa na kuingine power ya county yetu ndio inamulika kule lakini ya ajabu ya, ya excellency hapa lo yangalani mali hiyo upepo inatoka na kule Marsabit county headquarter bado tunatumia diesel generators na kule Moyale your excellency ili maneno ya aibu tunakuomba ututoe kutoka hiyo aibu tafadhali sana pili your excellency tuko na bahari kubwa sana tumejaliwa na Mwenyezi Mungu ile kutukana is the only desert lake in the world it's a serious tourist attraction but it is not it is not developed this area is still the way you can see we need to market this area and for us to be able to do that your excellency we need to solve the problem of road network from Laisamis up to here we want to plead with you as the father of the nation and and in connection with that if we can expand the airstrip so that investors can be able to come and freely invest in this area ya tatu your excellency there are some sub counties which have been created before all over the county and they have not been made operational uh, equally this loyangalani your excellency we only have one location it is very difficult for the people the security committee to manage security situation when they don't have enough chiefs so our request to you your excellency to be able to effectively manage the security situation in the county we request you kindly to operationalize the sub counties that we do have which have been gazetted and to give us back KPR so that our people can be able to man the security situation within our county the the severe drought that we experienced your excellency was something you already mentioned and we discussed these people you see all of them are pastoralists Eh, mifugo yao yote imepotea tunakuomba mzee kama baba wa taifa if we can consider some restocking program i know it is foolhardy to expect that everybody every citizen will be empowered by the nation but because pastoral communities have been most affected and this is not only for marsabit as i speak i also represent fcdc counties all those counties were seriously affected if the national government can consider his talking program we will be forever indebted the dams that you have pledged in, to the nation is the only solution to fighting poverty in northern kenya we have fertile soils the problem is water when it rains we have a lot of water surface runoff that goes to waste if we can create or uh, do some mega dams this will be a solution to the problems of our communities finally your excellency i want to take this opportunity to thank you sincerely for giving our people sons and daughters of pastoral communities opportunity in national government we have several psc here directors and that kind of thing but we want to or i wish to uh, still request kindly you can still consider a few more people a few friends of yours who are still out there but need those opportunities kindly uh, i know you are overwhelmed the nation is big but we kindly request you to continue uh, remembering us in your appointment across the country kwa hayo machache 
e, jameni mimi sina mengi ya kusema lakini nataka kuomba kila mmoja ambao amefika siku ya leo kama tuko na furaha si tuko na furaha vile rais amekuja tuko na furaha ama hatuna furaha tutatembea na yeye ama hatutatembea na yeye by the way your excellency going forward last time during the election our county was divided uh, you still got the majority but we were divided this time round i want to assure you we shall be united behind william samoy roto wananchi hiyo ni kweli ama si kweli tutatembea na rais ama sio wale wanakubaliana na mimi hebu mnionyeshe kwa mikono kwa mikono kwa mikono there will be no two presidential candidates in Marsabit County it will be only one this time round 2017 it will be daktari william samoy ruto sindio basi hebu tusimame tusimame tuweke mikono yetu pamoja eh tufanye ile kilo ya zamani nikisema mmoja mnatwanga vizuri aya kilo moja ya pili gato kwenye Waheshimiwa <coughs> viongozi wote na wananchi wa hapa Marsabit Mjambo. Loya angalani ya Mjambo. Bultin naga. Ageni mbadada. Yoya. Amale yoya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na na mata mata eriamun mata egisil aha eiserian eiserian meisi sio laitoriani amina asante sana ile ingine ni gani aya nitakuja kusema hiyo ingine siku ingine Kwanza mimi nataka niwashukuru sana ndugu wananchi wa Marsabit. Leo mimi nimefika hapa na simi, mimi si mgeni kwenu. Mimi nimekuwa hapa mara nyingi. Sherehe hii nimekuja hapa mara nyingi kwa sababu mimi natambua urafiki na watu wa Marsabit County. Nataka nichukue nafasi hii. Pia niwashukuru sana. Nilikuja hapa nikaomba kura zenu mkanipatia Marsabit mimi nasema asante sana. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba hawa viongozi wote mmewachagua kutoka MCA wa bunge wenu, senators wenu magavana wenu mimi nitafanya kazi na wao kwa manufaa ya watu wa Marsabit County <laughs> Nataka niwapongeze Nimesikia vile viongozi wamesema hapa Pale nyuma tulikuwa na matatizo makubwa ya ukosefu wa usalama sehemu hii Lakini kwa sababu ya umoja ya viongozi na viongozi kukubali kufanya kazi na serikali tumekuwa na hali ya amani hapa na mimi nataka nikubaliane na viongozi waliosema hapa ya kwamba bado inahitajika askari wa kutosha pamoja na wale wa KPR ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunadhibiti usalama watoto waende shule mufanye kilimo na ufugaji tujenge uchumi wa Marsabit na uchumi wa Kenya. Na sababu hiyo yale sehemu viongozi wenu wamesema 
bado kunahitajika askari mtu wangu hapa amenakili vizuri nitatumana askari wa kutosha ili tuhakikishe usalama hapa Marsabit kwa sababu tunataka usalama ndio tuweze kujenga uchumi na hasa tuwasomeshe watoto wetu ndio Marsabit isipige ama isibaki nyuma wakati Kenya inapiga hatua ya kwenda mbele mimi nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi vile vile kwamba tuko na administrative units vile governor wenu wamesema ambazo zilikuwa gazetted lakini officers hawajareport leo asubuhi nilipatiwa taarifa kwamba hatukukuwa na mahali ya hawa officers wetu kuja kuishi na hatukukuwa na vifaa zingine tumekubaliana ya kwamba mapema mwaka ujao tutashirikiana na county government yenu ili tuhakikishe kuna mahali hawa officers watakuja kuishi na kuna mahali ambapo kutajengwa ofisi tutagawana hiyo kazi na county government na nitahakikisha kwamba tume operationalize hizo administrative units kwa manufaa ya usimamizi wa sehemu hii na usalama wa hapa Marsabit nimekubaliana na viongozi wenu ya kwamba hiyo kazi ni kazi ya dharura ama emergency so that we can have every child going to school and i want to thank the member of parliament for this area huyu ndugu yangu mheshimiwa lekuton pale umesema unahitaji askari nitakupangia askari <clears throat> ili tuhakikishe kwamba kuna usalama katika sehemu hii kwa sababu usalama ni haki ya kila mkenya na tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba kuna usalama ndio tushughulike na kujenga nchi kuendesha kilimo ufugaji na kazi zingine biashara yenu muweze kuendelea nayo na watoto wetu wasome ndio tuweze kuambatana na wakenya wengine katika safari ya kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya watu wa Marsabit mimi naelewa vizuri ya kwamba hapa ni mahali ukame inazidi kila maha, kila kila, uh, kila wakati na lakini Mungu ametupatia rasilimali ya sehemu hii hapa tuko na upepo mwingi ambayo tunatumia kutengeneza umeme na mumesema na ni ukweli kwamba hii umeme inatoka hapa inatusaidia Nairobi na sehemu zingine za Kenya lakini watu wa Loyangalani bado wako gizani mimi nataka niwahakikishie tayari tumeweka mpango tayari inajengwa saa hizi ile umeme itatoka hapa Loyangalani kwa wind power ifike hapa Loyangalani kwa mji wenu na mimi nataka niahakikishie nikirudi hapa mwaka ujao nitakuta mko na stima ya kutoka hapa kwa wind power yenu tumekubaliana vile vile ya kwamba tutatengeneza mini grids kwa zile miji zingine kule eh, Marsabit kule Moyale kule Northhor pia tutahakikisha kwamba tunaweka mini grids ndio tuhakikisha kwamba kuna stima ambayo wananchi wanaweza kutumia hasa katika miji yenu mikubwa katika sehemu hii ya Marsabit. Vile vile hata ingawaje tuko na changamoto ya mvua ama maji tumekubaliana na nyinyi na tuko na mpango kamili ya kutega maji katika dams zetu. Saa hizi tuko na mvua nyingi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tuko na maji inaharibu barabara zetu na kuangaisha wananchi wengi sehemu tofauti tofauti leo asubuhi nilikuwa na mkutano mkubwa wa kushughulika na vile serikali itahakikisha ya kwamba tutakuwa na mpango kamili itahakikisha wa Kenya wasipoteze maisha yao na tuwe na mpango ya kurekebisha barabara na infrastructure zingine ambazo zimeharibiwa na vile vile tuwe na mpango 
kuhakikisha wakenya ya kwamba wakenya wasipoteze maisha yao lakini hata na hivyo hapa tunahitaji dams ambayo itatusaidia kwa water storage ndio tuhakikisha kwamba mifugo yetu na mimea yetu isiharibike na tumekubaliana na county government yenu katika priority dams ambazo tutajenga hapa Marsabit County na kwa mapenzi ya Mungu kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka ujao nitakuwa nimerudi hapa tena katika kazi hiyo ya mambo ya dams ya hapa Marsabit County <clears throat> Tumekubaliana jameni vile vile muko na rasilimali kubwa hii Lake Turkana hii ambayo iko hapa kwenu ni lake kubwa ambayo inaitwa the largest desert lake in the world iko hapa Marsabit na tuko na rasilimali nyingi tuko na samaki tuko na mambo mengi ambayo yako hapa ndani mimi nataka niwatangazie watu wa Marsabit tumesema ya kwamba vile tunashughulika mumeniona nikiwa kule Lake Victoria Mumeniona nikiwa kule baharini katika Indian Ocean kwa mambo ya blue economy na landing sites na vile tutaweka mpango ya processing na value addition ya samaki ambayo tunatoa Lake Victoria na ambayo tunatoa Indian Ocean. Mimi nataka niwatangazie vile vile mimi nitakuja hapa niko na mpango ya Lake Turkana mahali tutajenga landing site na mahali tutatumia rasilimali kutoka hapa ya samaki ili tuweze kufukuza njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. <clears throat> Mimi nashukuru watu wa Marsabit. Hata ingawaje nyinyi ni wafugaji, pia mumejifundisha kukula samaki. Ama bado. Unajua kukula samaki? Eh? Si mimi nimeona hapa samaki iko nyingi mahali mmetoa hapa. So hiyo mpango tutakuwa nayo mpango kamili ili tuunganishe ufugaji, kilimo na uvuvi katika kuzalisha chakula ya kutosha katika taifa letu la Kenya. And we are going to have a united approach in making sure that we use all the food resources that we have in the country. We develop them sufficiently. For a long time our blue economy resources were left behind. That is why we don't have sufficient infrastructure in Lake Turkana uh, for the harvesting of fish and I want to commit that we are discussing kazi moja ambayo nimetembea nje ya Kenya kutafuta ni pesa na serikali ya Netherlands wamekubali tuko na mazungumzo na wao saa hizi kutafuta pesa ya Lake Turkana hapa ambayo tutatumia kwa landing sites na kuhakikisha kwamba tuna unlock the potential that exists in Lake Turkana on fishing and on all the other resources ya blue economy watu wa Turkana tunaelewana vile vile mimi nimesikia vile viongozi hawa wamesema ya kwamba hapa muko na airport na hii sehemu hii hapa mbele itakuwa ni sehemu ya muhimu sana kwa mambo ya utalii katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kwa sababu tumeamua kama serikali ya kwamba we are going to use the cradle of humankind, the home of humankind that is right here in Marsabit and Turkana to profile our country so that we can attract more tourists. Na kwa sababu hiyo hapa uh, airport ama airstrip yenu hapa mimi nataka niwatangazia kwamba tutaweka pesa ya kuongeza runway ili zile ndege kubwa kwa sababu tuko na mpango ya utalii ya taifa lote la Kenya ambayo target yake ni hapa Marsabit na Turkana kwa sababu ya mambo ya cradle of human kind ambayo inapatikana hapa kwenu hapa tutajenga museum kubwa. Hapa tutajenga cultural center. Viongozi hawa wameniuliza ya kwamba mnataka tujenge cultural center hapa. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie wizara itaanza 
huyu PS wetu Umi nimemwambia atafute milioni hamsini ya kwanza akuje aanze kupanga mambo ya cultural center wakati tunapanga hiyo kazi kubwa ambayo inakuja baadaye na mimi nataka hiyo kazi ianze ndio tukiwa na sherehe hii ya mwaka ujao tuje hapa tukiwa tumeanzisha ujenzi wa cultural center and we are going to look for additional resources to make sure that we grow the tourism products in Marsabit County in Turkana County in Northern Kenya tumeelewana jameni vile vile mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa sababu mnaishi kwa pamoja hapa tuko na jamii nyingi nimeona kwa wimbo nimeona kwa utamaduni muko na jamii nyingi na imesemekana mumepatiwa nafasi ya kwanza Kenya mzima kwa kuwaunganisha na kuwajumuisha jamii zote katika Marsabit County mimi nataka niwaambie pongezi sana that is how we must live as Kenya wakati tumepiga kura mwaka uliopita tulipiga kura kuondoa ukabila na tulipiga kura kuingiza amani na kuondoa fujo katika siasa yetu ya Kenya. Na mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwamba nyinyi watu wa Marsabit mumekuwa mstari wa mbele kuweka amani, kuweka utengamano na umoja ya wananchi. Na mimi nataka niwaambie nitawashikilia mkono because you are doing the right thing. Mimi nataka nikuulize governor kwa heshima wewe ni rafiki yangu. Hawa watu wote ni watu wako. Na mimi nashukuru ya kwamba umewaunganisha, umewajumuisha na hata wale bado usichoke. I, e, nyosha mkono yako tuweze kuunganisha watu wote wa Marsabit ili tuweze kutembea pamoja kama ndugu moja wa taifa moja taifa la Kenya jameni. Watu wa Marsabit tunaelewana? Kabisa. Tumeelewana kabisa. Mimi nataka niwahakikishia kwamba tutafanya bidii. Nimeambia hawa viongozi mimi nataka watoto wetu wote wasome. Hapa Marsabit bado tuko na matatizo ya watoto wengi hawako shuleni. Mwaka huu nimeajiri walimu 500 hapa Marsabit County. Mwaka ujao nitaongeza walimu wengine kwa sababu nia yangu ni kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna mtoto hata mmoja anawachwa nyuma bila ya kusoma kwa sababu umaskini mkubwa ni umaskini wa akili ni umaskini wa kukosa elimu na hiyo ndio tunataka tuondoe katika taifa letu la Kenya by making sure every child in Kenya has an opportunity to go to school and every child in Kenya is not left behind as we march forward as a nation into the future. Na ndio sababu hiyo nimesema mambo ya usalama kwa sababu itatusaidia kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wanasoma tutatia mkazo. Mumenieleza pia kwamba mifugo yenu nyingi kwa sababu ya kiangazi ambayo ilitangulia mumepoteza mifugo nyingi. Nataka nimwambie governor kwa sababu yeye pia ni mwenyekiti wa FCDC ile inaunganisha wafugaji wote nataka mketi chini na governance wenzako muniambie vile tutafanya ndio tufanye restocking mimi nitawatafutia pesa kama ni shilingi milioni tano ya kwanza muanze kununulia hawa watu mifugo yao waweze kila mmoja pengine hata pata ile alikuwa nayo lakini apate mbegu ya kuanzia So my friend uh, Governor Mahmoud you know what you need to do please have a meeting with your fellow governors from the pastoral counties I am ready to allocate 500 million shillings for a start for livestock restocking in this area so that those who lost millions of livestock can have seed for them to begin their livelihoods even as we work on making sure that other interventions are going ahead. Mnajua mwezi huu tumepatiana pesa hapa Marsabit karibu milioni 
kwa wale livelihoods kusaidia livelihoods ya wale watu ambao wameadhirika hapa na mambo ya kiangazi kupitia mashirika yetu ya NDMA na zile zingine tutaendelea kufanya kazi hiyo na wananchi wa hapa kuungana na nyinyi so that we can support all our citizens and make sure that we don't leave others behind because of challenges that they have in different parts of the Republic of Kenya. Mimi nataka niwaambie vile vile ya kwamba kwa mambo ya matibabu tumekubaliana ya kwamba tunaanza kwa kijiji. Pale kwa kijiji tutakuwa na community health promoters. Hapa Marsabit County muko na community health promoters ambao wamekuwa identified na county government 2200 ambao watatusaidia katika kila kijiji kushughulika na mambo ya matibabu na tumetoa vifaa ya hawa community health promoters kutumia kila community health promoter tumempatia equipment ama kit ambaye atasaidia kupima mambo ya sukari kupima mambo ya pressure lakini mimi naona watu hapa watu wengi hawana pressure pande hii na hawana hawana sukari si ndio watu wengi wanapiga wanatembea wana sana pande hii sasa kupata mgonjwa wa sukari ni ngumu lakini hata na hivyo tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunashughulika na mahitaji ya afya ya wananchi wetu pale mashinani na tumekubaliana na county government yenu ya kwamba hawa community health promoters ambao walikuwa community health volunteers walikuwa wanafanya kazi bila ya kulipwa pesa yeyote lakini sasa county government itatoa pesa nusu na national government itatoa pesa nusu tuwalipe hawa watu kwa sababu wanatufanyia kazi ya muhimu kushughulika na afya ya wananchi wetu pale nyanjani pale mashinani tumekubaliana watu wa Marsabit tutatembea pamoja hivyo hivyo ndivyo tunataka tushirikiane tufanye kazi kwa pamoja tuendelee kuunganisha nimesikia mbunge wetu aliye wa kutoka Marsabit amesema kuna barabara ya kutoka Segel kwenda mpaka Maikona hiyo barabara nikirudi hapa nitakuwa nimetafuta pesa yake tuweze kukamilisha na zile barabara zingine mmeniambia barabara mnataka kutoka kule juu ikuje mpaka hapa na lekuton ameniambia ni kilomita 200 na ngapi? 200. Hey, kweli mnajua kupima. So tutaangalia hiyo barabara yenu kwa sababu tuko na shughuli zingine nyingi lakini mpango yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunawasaidia wa Kenya katika hali ya kusafiri kwa uraisi na mambo yale mengine yote ambayo inatuhuzisha kama wananchi wa Kenya. Mwisho Mnajua leo mimi nimekuja Marsabit hapa. Na nimekuja hapa makusudi kwa sababu hapa Marsabit na sehemu hii ya wafugaji ndio bado tuko na kasumba ya fujo kwa wanawake. Watu hapa wanachukua miti wanagonga bibi yake. Mwingine anachukua sijui nini anapiga mtu mwingine. Muna e, watoto wetu hawa wasichana mnachukua panga mnawakata. Hiyo maneno nataka munisikia hapa. Mimi pia ni mzazi. Maneno ya kupasha tohara wasichana tumesema ikome. Mimi ninarudia. Kwa sababu mimi naona kuna wazee hapa wananiangalia. Muniangalie vizuri. Nimesema, nimesema hivi maneno ya female genital mutilation is against the law is against the constitution is an illegal activity and nobody and no kenyan shall be subjected to female genital mutilation no girl no daughter in the republic of kenya should be subjected to should be subjected to such violent treatment Leo hapa ndio siku ya kwanza kwa ile activism ya activism against gender based violence the greatest violence ya gender 
ni female genital mutilation. The greatest violence kwa wasichana wetu ni kule kuolewa mapema. Mtoto wa miaka 12, mtoto wa miaka 15 kuna mzee mzima anaenda ati anamfanya anakuwa bibi yake. Wewe ni wazimu kiasi gani unachukua mtoto wa miaka 12 unasema anakuwa bibi yako? Bure kabisa. Mimi nataka niwaambie hapa wazee. Tafadhali watoto ni wa kwenda shule waende wasome wewe kama unatafuta bibi ngojea utapatana na wale wako miaka 25 wakiendelea huko mbele hawa tunataka waende shule wasome na nyinyi kina mama kina mama mnanisikia mimi naambiwa nyinyi ndio mafundi eh wa operation yenye ndio mnafanya operation sikizeni hiyo mnana ya operation mtawacha na kama kuna mama anaendesha hiyo kazi mimi nataka niwaambie chiefs yule mama mnasikia yeye ndio mwenye hiyo kazi huyo mama ashikwe na afungwe miaka nyingi mnanisikia sisi tunataka hawa wasichana wetu warembo wetu waende shule wasome na ndio mimi nasimama hapa marsabit kwa hii siku ya kwanza Nikiwaambia we do not want our children we do not want our daughters of Kenya to be subjected to violence in the form of female genital mutilation we want our girls to go to school we want our girls to do their best and those who are involved in that exercise must be prosecuted and jailed for a long time because they are destroying the future of our children Tunaelewana jameni. Kwa hivyo wafanyikazi wote wa serikali washughulike na kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wote ambao wamefika umri ya kwenda shule wanaenda shule. Ya mwisho pia tuko na chanjo kwa wasichana wetu wa miaka tisa mpaka miaka kumi na tano kuzuia hawa kwa ugonjwa wa saratani ile HPV vaccine that is going to assist our girls in matters to do with cervical cancer we have enough vaccines in Kenya to make sure that all our girls aged between the ages of 9 and 15 can be given those vaccines so that we can protect them from cervical cancer that is destroying and killing many girls and many women in the Republic of Kenya. Kwa hivyo mimi nauliza wale wote wanaohusika first ladies wa counties first ladies wa constituencies first ladies wa wa huko kwa ward mimi nasikia hata MC yako na first lady ya ward hawa wote wawe campaigners wa kuhakikisha ya kwamba wasichana wetu wote wanapatiwa chanjo ili wasipate ugonjwa wa saratani wa cervical cancer ndio tuweze kuwasaidia wasipate magonjwa haya na waweze kushughulika na maisha yao tukienda mbele so i am asking all leaders especially women leaders in Kenya especially women leaders who are wives to politicians to work with us to promote the vaccination of girls between the ages of 9 and 15 against cervical cancer we have enough doses in the country to make sure that we protect all our girls na nikisema hivyo ni kwa sababu hata na mimi niko na wasichana watoto wasichana na mimi nataka pia wapate msaada kama vile ya wakenya wengine wote. Tumeelewana watu wa Marsabit? Ama nimewachanganya zaidi na maneno. Bado mko sawa? Eh? So mimi nafurahi sana jameni. Nimefurahi sana kufika hapa. Nimefurahi sana kwa kukutana na nyinyi. Mimi nitarudi hapa sasa mwaka ujao tukimalizana Christmas. Narudi hapa 
katika mpango ambaye nitakuja nilale hapa siku mbili tatu ndio tupange mambo ya maendeleo ya Marsabit County. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme asante sana. Nimefurahi sana kuja hapa. Leo sitalala kwa sababu niko na shughuli mingi kesho munisamee. Lakini nitarudi. Si namna hiyo? Mimi niko na deni yenu nitakuja siku ile nitarudi nitakuja na blangeti. Nitakuja nikibeba blangeti nikuja nilale. So asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu. Thank you very much. God bless you. Asanteni. Asanteni.